Now, the U.S. has an average of six quakes a year with a magnitude between 6 and 7.0. That's according to recent data. Here in the Bay Area, it's a given. We live in many active faults. The Hayward Fault in particular has seen a sort of tectonic time bomb for a large earthquake. It runs through some of the most densely populated areas of the East Bay, as you can see right here. Scientists recently went out to measure how much this fault has been creeping. As KPX 5's Brian Hackney reports, one Bay Area couple can actually see the evidence outside their front door. Whenever I visit the Hayward Falls, <laughs> oh, good, mo good morning, Brian. I also try to visit Phil and Darlene. And how are you this morning? Good to see you again. Good to see you. Not only are they great people, but their house is almost right on top of the creeping Hayward Fault. When you bought the house in 63, yes. you, they had no idea the Hayward Fault came through here? If they did, they didn't tell us. And that's true for most of the East Bay, which was planted right on top of the 35-mile length of the Hayward Fault before anybody really knew that it was creeping. Where I'm standing here, this is 20% of all the movement between the North American plate and the Pacific plate passing through my legs on this one narrow zone. As for Phil, it clips part of his garden wall. I mean, this is, Brian, this is all glue. And since this last visit was in 2009. Yeah, it's, 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 just, a, it's just a powerful, powerful adhesive. Yeah. In the 13 years since, I wondered if the glue had kept the Pacific and North American plates from slipping. Well, you know, the first time we talked was in 94. It's been a while. It's been a while. You know. You'll be back again. I'll be back in time. Right. Well, yeah, I wonder. expect to see you right there. You didn't think we still lived here, did you? It is so good to see you. Thank you. It's so good. Is Phil yeah. in there? It is so good to see you. It's been a while. It has been a while. Phil yeah. broke his back in a fall a few years ago, but he and Darlene look great. Something else hasn't changed either. The fault is still moving as far as we feel. Yeah. What are the indications? Separation of the uh, sidewalk. The sidewalk is terrible. Yeah? Yeah, it's really it's starting to move. Survey crews recently verified that. 270. And these are in minutes and seconds. Dr. Austin Elliott is with USGS. So far, our readings show that there's been about 11 millimeters of movement this year. That's uh, about normal for this site. It's moving. At that rate, Phil's house is now one foot closer to Alaska than it was when I met him for the first time in 1994. But someday, this fault isn't just going to creep. That's right. It's been nearly 160 years since the last earthquake on the Hayward Fault, and we know from geologic studies that it has earthquakes on average every 160 years. But we are within the window when we expect to experience a large earthquake on the Hayward Fault. Have you guys ever heard of the Hayward Fault? Yeah. Yes, you have. Do you worry about it? Not really. Not really. No? That's kind of how Phil felt about it back then. How worried can we be? And now? You worry about it? No. No? No. Yeah. No? Yeah. I mean, what, what are we going to do? It's slow. Even though that thing is just outside the window? No. So your philosophy is? So be it. <laughs> and so, until we meet yet again. I hope I don't uh, screw up your film. No. no. <laughs> I'm science editor Brian Hackney, KPIX 5 News.